Hello and welcome to Castle Game TV. Today we're going to be looking at the ICBM mod Electronic Machine. Now ICBM adds a whole bunch of explosives uh, to Minecraft, but the uh, the electronics and machines of the mod allow you to deliver them with extreme prejudice. Uh, now a lot of these items, especially electric items, rely on electricity, which is uh, garnered from using the Universal Electricity mod which is a separate one and in a separate video, so go look at that if you're confused as to how I'm getting electricity into these items. Now we're going to be looking at that explosive diffuser later, but at, look at this radar gun. Uh, again, all the recipes are actually in a separate video as well, so don't look for recipes here. But what a radar gun is, once you've charged them, all these items take different amounts of electricity, and they only hold a certain amount of charge. So they're like batteries, but uh, they actually do things, they use the electricity for some reason. Um, and this reason is to uh, get coordinates. So it's point and click. You simply point in, uh, anywhere in the map and uh, right click and it'll give you coordinates. And you can use those coordinates to transfer them to missile silos, which then can launch missiles at those coordinates. Now this remote detonator uh, can be used to, as it implies, remote uh, use it as a, a remote detonator for only short fuse explosives only short fuse, so you can't do it on conflagration, on a chemical, on anything but short fuse. But the good thing is, short fuse explosives can ignite other explosives, um, so you can use it kind of as a, as a two-part system. Now a laser designator, like this one here, once it's set on the same frequency as a missile silo, it'll give a five second countdown, and then call down a missile strike from that silo onto the position you, you designated. So you can see that that silo was uh, was quite a distance away, but it still managed to bring the explosive to where I was standing uh, with no trouble at all. So it's useful if you're sneaking into enemy camps. You don't have to you know go sneak in, scan it with a with a laser uh, with a, a radar gun, and then come back in uh, and and hit the button beside the silo. Now this here is a glass pressure plate. And it's very useful because you cannot see it at all. I mean, when, even when you put your mouse over it, it's still very hard to detect. So when you combine that with short fuse explosives, you get a very effective and deadly landmine. Now unfortunately, short fuse explosives aren't that uh, powerful, so to make it a uh, uh, one hit KO, you have to put a lot of short fuse explosives uh, bunched together so that when the boom happens, it's big enough to kill you. Or, well, kill who you're trying to, hopefully not you, otherwise you're idiot. Um, so, you basically put down the glass burner plate, you cannot see it. Anyone who walks over it uh, gets killed. Which is quite useful if you're trying to, you know, trap people or, or trick them or whatever. So these are spikes. And spikes can be great, uh, you know, they're kind of like barbed wire. How, you can't protect your base without, uh, without some kind of uh, barbed wire. So you put a glass pressure plate down, and even then, you can uh, hide them using sticky pistons. They are pushable. They act like a, a solid block. So uh, you can be tricky with them. And they have two different variations. One are flammable spikes, and the other are poisonous spikes. And they're simply using sulfur and uh, uh, rotten flesh, essentially, to, to basically paint those spikes and, and give them special powers. Cool. Now... The other item is the antidote, and the antidote is like a bucket of milk. Uh, it basically cures you from any kind of ailment, uh, poison, spider poison, uh, chemical explosives, anything like that. But the major difference is it's stackable. So instead of having 60 bu buckets of milk all taking up your entire inventory, you just need to uh, use one stack of 64 blocks of antidote. Now these are camel blocks, and camel blocks, as, as you can see, take on the appearance of any uh, block they're beside. So it has to be beside, not above or below, which is why it, if, if there's nothing there it'll just turn into normal uh, stone. You can pass through them. Uh, there is no... Uh, they aren't solid, so that you can't jump on top of them. And they also take a different hue than uh, uh, certain blocks when you place beside them. So it's not perfect, it's not like it's impenetrable, uh, a disguise that no one can see through. But they are they are very very useful for you know secret hideouts or disguising things. So if you have a silo that you don't want anyone to see, you could put uh, camel blocks around it, and then it'll be as good as invisible. And the other thing is shooting through them. So if you have some kind of weapon, 
and you don't want to be seen, but you know that your enemy's close, you can just uh, shoot through the blocks, and they won't know where it came from. Cool. It's also great at disguising, you know, a secret base or a secret layer, because I mean, if you're playing an espionage game, you can't be uh, too secretive. Now, this is a radar station, which is kind of cool, because essentially what it can do is if it detects a missile within a certain zone, so there's a safe zone, and there's a maximum area and a minimum area, and if within those two uh, areas, those two boundaries, if it detects a missile being launched, it will emit a redstone signal. Now, if you hook up that redstone signal to an anti-ballistic missile, uh, you can have a very effective uh, defense system, because if it detects any kind of missile within the area, it'll launch an anti-ballistic missile and target and destroy any threat to you. So it's it just it takes a lot of energy and has to be constantly running on electricity, but it's worth it if you want to stay safe. Now this is an EMP tower, and what an EMP tower does, it acts like the missile and the explosive, but it's controlled. You can control it. You can you can uh, detonate it when you want. It's there's no timed explosion. Um, you can set it to get rid of any kind of uh, uh, electronics or. Uh, missiles in the air, so it's not, um, it doesn't do it to everything if you want to, you know, attack yourself, which is not very good. So I launched a missile, I don't think you could see that, but I launched a missile, then I activated the EMP, and because the missile was within the range of the EMP explosion, it knocked it out of the sky and gave you the, the you know, the, the item form of it. So it's very, very useful. It's the same thing, you could, you, instead of hooking up uh, the radar station to uh, a ballistic missile, you could hook it up to the EMP station. Now this is kind of a primitive uh, version of the radar station. It's called a proximity detector. And what a proximity detector does, instead of doing anything useful, it can it can basically, at any type of mob, so person, pig, zombie, whatever you want, it'll just emit a, a sound. You can hook it up to a, a, you know, a, a note block and it can emit a sound. Now this is a railgun, and a railgun takes two types of ammunition. Both are incredibly deadly. It takes a long time to charge, and you can mount and, and aim it. Um, but when you fire it, it, the devastation is unbelievable. Wow! It actually destroyed, yeah, it destroyed the uh, the railgun itself. But the point of a railgun is it, it it fires through everything. So, uh, the first one was normal rounds, and this is antimatter rounds. And so you're gonna see the difference between. So you saw the little dent in the ground made by the first yeah. ammunition. The antimatter ammunition, it, it is unbelievable. Look at that. It, there was there was a whole mountain range or a hill range or whatever you wanna call it in front of me, and that that ammunition it just tore through it. I had six generators running. Uh, they're all gone. Wow. Tree is gone. It just passes through everything, and that's the <laughs> that's the hole from the last video. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, so it look at look at how far it's gone. Oh my goodness! Pointed at your enemies, they'd be pissing their pants. If that, that if that was pointing at their enemies, they would be pissing their pants. I would be pissing my pants. That is just just destruction on a primal scale. Now this is a uh, this is a cruise launcher. What a cruise launcher does, it basically takes the big missile silo that you have to use normally and shrinks it. So instead of launching uh, the missile in a parabolic arc, it launches it directly uh, towards your target, which is useful in some areas, but not always, because most of the time uh, people won't have uh, will have some kind of wall. So. It's harder to get to the heart of whatever you're trying to hit, and it's also a lot harder to aim because if it doesn't hit something in its uh, trajectory, it'll it'll just keep going. So if you, unless you're very particular about where you're aiming, you could very well miss your target. But yeah, so it's, it's useful. Uh, like all the items in this this mod, there are a lot of useful things. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you check out our other videos. Bye.